Wouldn't it be good if you could have a thermostat that was both digital and accurate to turn on or off things like extra cooling fans or maybe a fan in your engine bay when the engine bay gets warm or even something like a fridge or freezer where the mechanical thermostat just isn't accurate well you can they're cheap they're accurate easy to wire in and the best thing is that you can switch them on or off at programmable temperatures in this video we'll show you how For little more than the cost of a pint of beer, you can now buy a digital thermostat. These can be set up so that they turn on or off at given temperatures, and the wiring for them is pretty damn simple. Stripped down to their simplest form, they're basically an electric switch that opens and closes according to temperature. The upper and lower limits of these temperatures can be programmed to switch things like fans, like engine cooling fans or small fans for cooling your fridge or even whole appliances. Traditional thermostats work on bimetallic strip and that's basically two dissimilar metals that are fixed together and bend according to the temperature, like this diagram here. Bimetallic strips are connected to a set of contacts and it's this bending moment that creates the switch on and off. They're not very accurate. Digital thermometers though work on a thermocouple like the one at the bottom of this picture and they are very accurate when compared to a traditional thermostat and what's more they're a lot more reliable. So here's one, they're Chinesium. Um, fairly simple to wire up I'll show you a wiring diagram in a moment I'll just get it on the computer so it's ready for you yeah, so uh, positive negative or um, live and ground and then s1 and s2 those two are the relay you can see that when the relay closes those two will be joined up so what you do is you put feed the voltage in there that you need. In our case, it's 12 volts, but you can get these in 12, 24, 120 and 240 volts, 230 volts. Um, and you simply use this pair of terminals as the switch. Now what we've done here is we've got one running. You can see that there. It looks like it's flickering on the camera, but it's not actually. Let's see if we can stop it. No. Um, this one is set to come on at 30 degrees Celsius. When it comes on and those two relay pins close to complete the circuit, this fan will come on. So this is a mock-up of what we're going to do on our Victron battery-to-battery -battery chargers, which, as I told you before, um, have got a 20 degree 20 degree shut off and a 40 degree start thermo switch on them um, and of course most of the summer it's over 20 degrees celsius so they're staying on i can't alter that whereas the digital ones i can i can change it so it's all programmed up just come on at 30 degrees celsius it's currently 26 degrees celsius in the boat fairly easy to program um, you know when the relay or the switch is closed because this little um, light will come on here. A red light will come on where it says out. Um, this is the thermocouple. This is what controls it. 
um, before I start it up, let's just show you the wiring diagram for it or connections. So positive into this one, VCC, negative, they're calling it ground, into this one. So that's your power supply, positive and negative or live and neutral if you're using mains. And then um, on the actual unit, they're calling it S1 and S2, but on here they're calling it S0 and S1. And these two are your load one. So that, um, so that when these two close, when that's connected, the circuit makes. So your load is here. Um, and what I've actually done is I've taken a positive straight to my electric fan. And then I've looped the negative from here into there. Which then feeds that switch with a negative. And then this goes to the fan. Let's show you here, look. There's just a little loop there between those two. If I can turn it over, just a little loop. So let's see if I can do this. This is the positive in. This is the positive to my fan. It goes off here and off to my fan. This is the negative loop, which goes into this one, S1. When that switch closes, which is the relay, it then connects the negative side of the fan to the negative and the fan will come out so if, let's turn this back over the right way just put this screwdriver in here there's a bit of weight so that you can see it there's the thermocouple so the temperature is 26.7 i hold the thermocouple and just to prove i'm not cold blooded it's coming up 31 32 there you go it's come on it goes comes on and goes off within one or two degrees i've actually got it set at two degrees on the program so when i set it at two it has a when i set it at 30 rather um, as soon as it gets within two degrees of that it will come on so there we go that's working now 36 take my fingers off firm a couple put them behind that fan the temperature should start to drop there we go 34 33 32 31 almost 31 there you go little lights gone out and the fan has stopped so we've just got to connect the two fans which are on our Victron battery to battery uh, chargers I mean, you remember we, we put uh, two of these fans on there to help them cool quicker and this will uh, take care of that problem and I've actually got two of these because I think I'm going to put another one on our fridge so I have electronic control of our fridge I'll see but they were pretty cheap uh, we've got them on our Amazon shop so if you pop over to our Amazon shop on www svimpavidus.com and then go to shop and just scroll down um, you'll be able to uh, buy these there uh, we well it's evening and the boats are still a mess I've been called away to do other things today but eventually um, I've got the thermometer in and wired now they've got two minor problems one is that uh, I can't find um, a little 5 amp fuse I thought I had one we've been all through the fuse box haven't got one so I'm running it without an inline fuse at the moment which is a bit naughty but we'll put one on we can we we're just demonstrating that it does work so I've had my th finger on this sensor and this sensor is going to go onto the b2b's to these two here i've got a bit of wiring to tidy up there but i can already feel that the fans are drawing air across the b2b's because i have it set on 30 degrees celsius you see it's clocking down now 30.5 you'll see this little red light will go out and there we are the fans now stopped 
and if I it's going to settle about 22 degrees which is what the temperature is in the boat at the moment if I put my fingers on this thermocouple again here you can see that that's climbing up on the digital thermometer red lights come on still climbing and the fans have come on so that works exactly as we wanted it to do as that's going to come down now 30.5 I'll just cool this off a bit. Gets to 30. Off it goes. Now I can change that that temperature um, because in the in the summer it's going to be probably 25, 30 degrees in there anyway. But the principle works. It's turning off when it should do, which is which is what I want because those little sensors that I had here, these ones. Um, they're thermo switches, the mister type things. Um, you can see those. They were switching on at 40 and off at 20, which was just well, they were still they were running most of the day. So I've taken them out. That's it, the job done now. All I've got to do is tidy this wiring up, put this um, thermistor in the right place, and then uh, disconnect it while I try and find a little 5 amp fuse. Actually, it probably wants to be about 3 amp. But that's it. Jobs are good. And so, top tip: if you want to control some things going on and going off at a certain temperature, these things are uh, cheap as chips on Amazon. There's a link in the description down here somewhere um, to our Amazon shop where you can buy them. You won't pay any more for them, and uh, we get a little bit of commission from Amazon. Um, for sending you to their shop. Um, there's lots of other things there as well. It's uh, the link to uh, our shop is actually on our you not YouTube page on our website. Web, that's it. That there as well on our website. So go and have a go and have a, a browse through that. Don't forget if you enjoyed this and it's been useful to you, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and um, share with your friends as well. That's always good for us. Lots of sharing and comments as well. Lots of comments. I expect to see lots of comments down the bottom there. Right. Okay, camera woman. That's it.